Nanotechnology is becoming a bigger part of our lives. And one of, the, one of the material that actually enables nanotechnology is called silicon. And it actually makes up around 90% of the electronic industry. But silicon does have its limits. It's rigid, it's brittle, and it takes about 1,000 degrees to build. Furthermore, silicon and rigid electronics take a very large area, increasing the cost of many emerging technology. Take, for example, your phone. It's getting thinner, but speaking for myself, I know the fear of dropping it and breaking it also increases. What if you can make it lightweight and flexible? An EKG. Yes, they are getting more portable, but with the wires, they're still very inconvenient. What if you can have a wireless patch that sends signals to your phone? Or this tiny sensor over here takes a very small area, but in order to amplify that signal, we have to make a circuit as large as your tablet. What if we can make this into a single monolithic chip using the same material that I have wrapped around my fingers right here? OK, this material that I work with, sorry, is actually called metal oxide semiconductor. Metal, oh. yes. uh, metal oxide semiconductors are low cost, flexible, and reliable when they're made thin. So if this is a dream material, why haven't you heard of it outside of our community? Well, the problem is metal oxide devices have not really reached the power output required in order to enable these kind of technology. But what we did is that we changed the way we built our metal oxide devices to finally achieve silicon-like performance while still maintaining the metal oxide advantage. So let me give you a practical example. Going back to that biomechanical sensor, you can put a silicon electronic on there, but with metal oxides, you can deposit directly on top of them. And because it's thin enough to conform to the surface, it actually flexes with the vibrations of these sensors. You can even start thinking about extracting energy directly from solar cells because metal oxide circuits can be made transparent. And similar to my finger, similar to my finger, you can start uh, enabling a lot of emerging technologies such as robotics or surgical arms because circuits can make your movements and pre the precision of your movements better. And you needn't worry about whether it's environmentally safe or whether it will be harmful for humans because metal oxides are actually biocompatible. And because of these many properties, they're also printable. With this new power of metal oxides, we can finally enter an era of flexible innovations and fill the roles where rigid electronics can't, thus breaking the wall of rigid electronics. Thank you. <laughs>